Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 33. So today we are continuing our training inside of campaigns with regards specifically to our paid ad experience. And today we're gonna to look at a couple of things. We're gonna look at how to run a Facebook ad or Instagram ad with multiple images. And we're also gonna take a look at the ability to target your database with those types of ads as well. So let's dive into campaigns. That's our megaphone icon here on the left-hand side. And we are going to do as we have done the last couple of days. We're gonna create a campaign. We're gonna choose paid ad. And yesterday we selected the listing single image or video. Today I'm just gonna show you the differences when we choose a multi-image carousel still for a single listing. So if we click on this tile, essentially the only major change happens when we scroll down into our, our images, basically. So you can see essentially now, instead of having just one dropdown, we've actually got five different dropdowns available to us. So if we go with, uh, first we need to find the listing. So we'll do what we did yesterday. We'll pull up that listing. We're gonna search by street address, type in the street address. There we go. And when we do, we will connect that listing to the ad the same exact way that we did yesterday. And yet now we're gonna have the ability to select multiple photos. So we'll click on done. It's gonna start loading the photos. We're gonna screen, scroll down, excuse me, to this section where we have our images. And you can see by default, it just went ahead and loaded image one, two, three, four, and five. We can come in if we decide and say, hey, we don't want image one to be the lead image. We want image nine to be one. Maybe it's a picture of the dining room there. And then image two, uh, maybe we want a picture of the uh, breakfast room and then so on and so forth right so you can see that you can go through and select specific ones you also have the ability to come in and upload a custom image and this is where you get a choice where you can either say hey i want to bring that in from the design library which you can see here or we can choose to add new media and upload something from our hard drive google drive dropbox etc so we're gonna get into designs a little bit later on in the challenge. If we selected and had a design ready to go, we could select one of these designs and actually use that. Uh, this also holds true yesterday. I don't think I pointed this out in the single image opportunity, but you do have the same opportunity in single image as well. So we'll close that out. In addition, if for any reason you decide you just want two or three or four images, if you just leave it like this, right? So upload custom image and then don't actually upload the custom image, then you're gonna be fine when it comes to moving to the next step. If you leave it as image 16, image five, whatever it may be, right? So if you do select image and you don't actually choose an image, then it's just gonna choose by default the next one in line. And then you would see over here on the right hand side, this is what a carousel looks like where you can actually scroll through in this case, you would actually want to choose those photos. Uh, but if you don't want a photo, just want two or three or four, just click on upload custom image and leave it alone. In which case you would only have, in this case, three photos to choose from. That's the nuance and difference with a single listing multi-photo paid ad. So we're gonna go back to create ads. And you can see that the third option is basically very similar, except this time we're using multi listings. So we're only gonna get one photo per listing, but we can add additional listings. We have to have at least three, and I believe we can go up to 10 that are available. So we would wanna come through and basically put in, okay, we're gonna search for street address, this is where if you have multiple listings or you have permission to advertise listings from other agents in your brokerage, you could go through and search for each one of those listings, select them all first, and then you would go in listing by listing and select your photo. So I'm gonna choose three random ones. We're gonna click on done. It's gonna load the three, the three listings here. 
And then when we scroll down, it's going to basically bring in the lead photo for each one of those listings. So that's also important to note, you, you wanna have strong lead photos because as I know, there's no way to change the actual photo that features that listing. So just kind of a heads up there. You can see when we get into the text section, there's no way to change the images. Three to 10 strong lead photo based listings and you could basically advertise them all at the same time. Now, obviously when you get into your text, it's gonna to have to be a little generalized as compared to specific because each one of them is different. However, you will notice if you use the merge fields like street address, it puts the street address from each listing in, in this case, the headline. I also noticed that for some reason, the body text and headline gets swapped. Body text was on the left-hand side on our last two ads for this reason. For some reason, it's on the right-hand side. Just something to pay attention to as well when you're building out a multi-listing ad. Finally, I'm gonna show you how you can actually target your database. We're gonna create campaign paid ads. And in this case, we're gonna change it from using a Facebook lead form. By the way, non-listing is exactly the same thing we've just been doing, except it's a single image and it doesn't have to be tied to a listing. So I want to target my database. Maybe I have a new listing and I want everyone in my database or maybe a specific group of people in my database to see that listing via Facebook or Instagram. Now I'm gonna to switch to the landing page option, right? This is not the Facebook lead form. This is not going to create leads from Facebook. It could create leads from my landing page, depending on what style of landing page I use. But I wanted to show you the nuance here when it comes time to actually targeting, you can see you now have an include my database. And you've got some nuance here to create a successful database audience, at least 100 of your selected contacts must have a primary email and phone number for Facebook or Instagram to target. So we've gotta have at least 100 contacts, number one. Number two, all 100 of them have to have an email and phone number for Facebook to target. So you may need to start with a much bigger audience to get it whittled down to 100 that Facebook would recognize. So if we go that route, you can see we are going to have to create an audience via tags. And this is where we would come in and look for all of the tags that we had. If I said, hey, I'm gonna use um, the Falls Farm, I could go with that tag, let's just utilize there. And it says, if the My Database audience is too small, the ad will only show to the geo area selected above. So it's not possible to target just your database. This is in addition to whatever you were targeting here. So if I was targeting Katy, Texas, I could target Katy, Texas and everybody in my database with this specific tag. And you can add more than one tag, by the way. So you could create an audience from multiple tags. The reason why we're doing this through the landing page option versus the Facebook lead gen form option is in the case of your database, you already have these people's information. So there's no need to capture it again. This targeting geographic wise up here is sort of your safety net just in case this audience isn't big enough or it's just barely big enough but Facebook can't spend enough money to target it. So it's actually gonna target both your database and the geographic area here. So that's it for today, guys. We've got one more video tomorrow where we're gonna dive into Google AdWords and show you some nuance there. But today, the ability to create multi-photo single listing ads, multi-listing single image ads, and then the ability to target your database using the landing page option or our yellow ads. Hope everyone's had a fantastic day. And as always, guys, I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.